Hmm. Okay, it smells kind of weird. <laughs> everyone how are we doing today how's life treating you these days i hope everyone is doing well today's video we are going to do a short review on the latest product that i purchased from sephora which is the uh, best number nine jelly cleanser from drunk elephant so this is the product previously i was using this uh, fresh soy face cleanser in my skincare routine and then i came to realize that i am almost out of it i guess it's time for me to look for new cleansers since fresh brand is a bit pricey for me so i decided to look for other alternatives which is not that pricey so when i was online shopping at sephora i came across this brand drunk elephant and then i saw the name and description of uh, this product i find it quite interesting i decided to give it a try and i purchased it this product is retailed at 138 ringgit malaysia for 150 ml whereas the fresh soy face cleanser is about 177 ringgit for the same size definitely drum elephant is less pricier compared to the fresh soy face cleanser before we get into the review let's give a little spotlight to this new cleanser shall we Drunk Elephant is an American brand. Uh, it has a very distinct design. So uh, when you see the products uh, on the market, you definitely recognize that it is part of Drunk Elephant's products. Moving on to the description of the cleanser. This one is an innovative jelly cleanser that removes all traces of makeup, excess oil, pollution, and any other crime from the day. Unique blend of masks and factors that make up emollients. This gentle formula removes the lingering, also rescues the skin, clean, and soft. Realize that fragrance and essential oils. ST number nine is appropriate for all skin. And then a few of the main ingredients from this cleanser it has virgin marula oil, which is high in critical antioxidants, and omega 6 and 9, and glycerin helps to replenish hydration levels that are normally lost in skin, and also cancer proof extract, which is rich in antioxidants to soothe and hydrate skin. This one, it seems like a really, really good description and the ingredients inside is really uh, good for the skin as well. I'm going to unbox this and see how it looks like on the inside. Ooh. Okay, so it looks like this. In this box, it also has like a little booklet that contains uh, all other Drunk Elephant products. So in case you are interested in other products, you can refer from this booklet. So it's quite handy. This is my first time using Drunk Elephant products. I have no idea if this works out for my skin. So let's find out soon enough. Let's dive into the review. Let's see uh, if this uh, product has any scent to it. Hmm. Okay, it smells kind of weird. <laughs> you know those kind of uh, suntan lotion that we use uh, for our skin and for our body before we go swimming in the hot sun? Well, it smells kind of like the kind of suntan lotion scent if you know what I mean. Put it simply, it doesn't smell nice. So we're going to see how the texture is. So I'm going to show you. Really jelly, as according to the description of the product, it is uh, transparent. It's not as concentrated, like quite watery kind of texture, you know. So I'm gonna wash my face with this, and I'll be back in a short while. See ya. So I've washed my face. Um, definitely this cleanser does what it says. It doesn't strip off my skin completely. It leaves my skin quite soft. I feel my skin is like boing boing kind of feel. <laughs> uh, it definitely washes away all residues and dust particles on my skin, which is a good thing. I'm going to use this facial cleanser for consecutively of seven days. And then after a week later, I will come back to you all with my final thoughts. Today is Monday, uh, 11th of May. So I'll get back to you in a week later. So I'll see you soon. Bye. Hi, so it's been a week since I've been using this uh, Drunk Elephant Jelly Cleanser. It is uh, Monday, May 18 in the evening. I'm here to give you my final thoughts on the jelly cleanser. Overall, for me, it's not great, but it's not bad either. When I was washing my face with the cleanser, as I rub against my palms, I noticed they are not foamy, they are not too much bubbles, which is a good thing because the more foamy the product is, the more it's going to make your face squeaky clean. It's going to strip all of the good oils from your skin and we do not want that. So for the first two days uh, when I've been using this jelly cleanser, I felt 
there is some parts of my face that are having this stinging and minty feel especially around the nose under my nose area because these parts of my skin are actually more sensitive compared to other parts of my face I guess this jelly cleanser is not really suitable for super sensitive skin also this jelly cleanser claims that it actually removes all traces of makeup from the skin and I actually did try it out I washed my face using this cleanser with some makeup traces left on my face um, how will I know if it works? it's very simple so I use cotton pad to apply toner on my face and um, when I check the cotton pad it doesn't have any foundation or any brown color stains on it which is a good thing that means the jelly cleanser is actually doing its work it actually uh, does what it claims to conclude this video I am okay with the product it's just the smell that I'm not okay with because it smells kind of like chemical I do not think that it's suitable for all skin types because if you have sensitive skin you might feel a little stinging feel on your face so I do not recommend it to sensitive skin person for other normal skin, dry skin, oily combo skin you guys uh, should not have a problem with it but then again this is only based on my personal opinions will I repurchase it again? Um, no, I don't think so <laughs> one main thing is because of the smell I don't really fancy the smell thank god it's not really that strong so I can live with it I believe 138 ringgit Malaysia you can look for a much better alternative maybe even cheaper and works a lot better compared to this drunk elephant jelly cleanser so yeah I do hope you guys enjoy my video and I'll see you in the next one take care and bye